Morning, sunshine. Slept well? Good. Do you even need to ask that? Nah. At first I played with your hair for a bit. When that got boring, I switched over to the news. Still nothing. I know. Though, I've come up with a theory. You know how I stayed at that warehouse for around a month after I saw who you were? Well, things weren't as uneventful as one might think. The Crusher refused to let me in on anything. Nor was I really allowed to leave the lab. But I could hear things going on outside of my lab. People coming and going. Which is strange because he always works alone. I heard a man screaming and trucks being loaded. One day I went out for lunch. The Crusher was absolutely furious with me and going out without informing him first. I had basically been grounded. He did his best to hide it. But behind him I saw a body in a bag. Trust me, after 15 years in this business, I know what a body in a bag looks like. Later, when I was walking to the shop, I tried to look for any signs of someone going missing. Anything in the paper? Missing person posters? Someone looking extremely worried? But nothing. Then I saw it. I didn't think of it until now. Walking by an electronics store, on a TV in the display window, was the news. Nothing very special with that, hadn't it been for the entire crew to have been switched out. Replaced. Think about it. The news hasn't covered any villain activities in how long? Precisely. Um, my theory is that he has taken control over the news broadcast. Not just on TV, either. Everything. If you control what's, what news is being spread, you can pretty much control people's thoughts. Hang on. They're talking about you. Fuck. I never wanted to be so wrong in my entire life right now. But this, it's proof. Why would they say that, that about you anyways, huh? You being a villain? You've done nothing but help this city. <laughs> Seems like you have to stay in here for a while, though. If they believe the news, they didn't just show your hero character, Blaze. He knows who you are. <clears throat> Fuck, this is not what I was planning. Hey, are you with me? No, you just seem really distant. Hey, look at me. What's wrong? What do you mean, not again? I'm not them anymore? I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Baby, look at me. Hey, tell me. What's going on? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm not getting any closer. I'm staying over here. Oh, darling. Please. Talk to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. How can I help? No, 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 no. Please, don't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. 
please, just try to listen to my voice. Breathe. It's going to be okay. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Because you've got me. That's how I know. No, 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 no. Don't look at the TV. Just look at me. Hang on. I'm going to go turn it off. Don't say that. You're not bad. Of course you're not. You're the kindest person I know. He's just spreading lies. Anything to turn the city against you. But it'll be alright. We'll fix this. I'll fix this. Breathe, darling, please. You're gonna pass out if you continue to breathe like that. Just breathe with me. Deep breath. In. And deep breath out. Come on. Just try it again with me. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. You're doing amazing, darling. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. I'm so proud of you. You'll be okay. No one is going to hurt you. Is it alright if I hold you? Okay, I'm here. You're safe. I know this has all been so hard for you, but you will be okay. You are so strong. You made it through so much, and you will make it through this too. I know it, and I'll be with you for as long as you will have me. Darling, you're shaking like a leaf. Shh, it's okay. I've got you. Just breathe. There you go. You're coming back to me. Darling, look at you. You scratched yourself really bad. No, don't apologize. It's fine. That's why you've got me. Is it alright if I take your arm? There. Like it never even happened. You're okay. Come here. Shh. It's okay. You're safe. <sighs> Sweetheart, is it alright if I ask what happened? No. I haven't. I know everyone has a past. I didn't want to pressure you. Tell me about your past should be your choice. Okay. I'm listening. Of course I have. Everyone's heard of Absolute Zero. One of the greatest villains to have ever lived. They almost put the entire city into an ice age before they died. Would have, if they hadn't been caught in that explosion. Eagle tried to save them and ran back into the stadium just for it to explode and taking them both. I don't understand. What do you mean? Of course the police didn't find both bodies. The inferno reached over 900 degrees. The only remains in those temperatures are ashes. How are you doing that? No. I saw your file. You have teleportation and telekinesis and thermal resistance. There is nothing about ice.
Come on. You're not exactly expecting me to believe you that that you that you you're you know, absolute zero. They were as bad as one could get. Not to mention they're dead. And you're neither. What? Proof? Holy shit. That's you in their costume? I'm fine, just give me a second. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I had a hard time processing you being Blaze, but this is on a whole new level. You're... You're a fucking legend. But what happened? How did you survive? How did you become good? Hey, it's alright. Just breathe. I promise, I won't go anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. I see. So it was all planned. A way for you to leave that life behind. Instead, trying to redeem yourself with Blaze. Hey, don't say that. I could never. Just, who do you think you're talking to with? I haven't been very honorable myself. I have no right to judge. Actually, I think leaving your old life behind makes you even more admirable. I do. Do you think I would lie to you about that? You're not a villain anymore. No matter what anyone says, you've done way more than enough to rid yourself of that title. Don't worry so much. You're amazing, generous, and kind. This revelation does get my thoughts going, however. Yeah, I think I have a plan on how we're going to get to the Crusher. Do you still have your old costume, 